let's sculpt some fur. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a dollop of green stuff. We're gonna mash it into the rough shape that we want it to be. We're gonna take our steel cutting tool and we're gonna put some lines in it. This is just gonna start the initial definition of the hairs and tufts that we're gonna put in there. We're gonna come back in with our pin. We're gonna go in and we're gonna create some more definition. We're gonna reinforce those lines. We're also going to push the pin up underneath some of them and pull back and this is going to create more depth of feel. So we're going to continue on working in layers this way, doing individual tufts as we move along. This is going to give you more definition in the long run and it's also going to let you keep the muscle definition that you've sculpted underneath or whatever you're sculpting on top of. We're just completing the same process here using our pin to create more definition. We're coming back in with an X-Acto blade because it's gone a little flat. We can use this to bring back the detail and pull the green stuff back in the way that we want it to look. So there's our first two areas. We're going to cut and come back and I'm going to have this whole guy covered. So now we've got it on his shoulders, on his back, and we're going to continue to work in layers over top. We're going to put some more underneath his chin because we want to have sort of a large mane kind of thing going on there. So we're going to sculpt on top of what we've done already. We've let all this stuff cure so it's not going to cause any issues. We're going to put our lines in there, come back in with an X-Acto blade to get some deeper recesses to make it look like the fur there is longer than the rest of it. And then we're going to come back in with our pin afterwards again and we're going to redefine some of that definition get some deeper recesses going in there and get some smaller more nuanced details in just by simply pulling back on the green stuff a little bit uh, to get it to flick and flare in some areas create more visual interest got some tufts going down the center of his chest there and as you can see the fur looks longer than it does on his shoulders. Alright so now we're gonna move on to a larger area. We're gonna do this big piece on his back here. Now we want this fur to look quite long so what we're gonna do is we're gonna work in layers starting from the bottom. We're gonna put our lines in to define where we want the fur to go uh, the, to build the tufts onto. And then we're just basically going to complete the same process. We're going to use our X-Acto blade to put lines in there and then we're going to exaggerate those lines with our pin tool. So what we're doing is we're just working in layers. I separated the larger area into three areas and we're just working our way up. The important thing to remember when you're sculpting fur is to work in layers and make sure that you're going over top of one another that way that the fur looks like it has depth and it's not gonna just look like a flat surface that has some texture added to it. We're also making sure to use lots of water so that our tool doesn't stick and pull the fur that we've sculpted ahead of time off. And there you have it. We have the back part of his mane all sculpted. Looking good so far. Now we're going to move on to bulk out his face a little bit. 
uh, this detail is a lot smaller. So we're going to use our X-Acto blade to get some precision in here. We're just using the tip of it to press down on the green stuff and create little V's. And then when we're going to go back in with the blade of the X-Acto knife afterwards, and we're just going to create little lines. Then once we've done that, we're going to go back in with our pin tool and we're going to deepen those recesses and pull on them a little bit because this fur is going to be finer than the fur on the rest of his body because it's shorter and it's closer to his face. So we want to make sure that we've got smaller details in there, smaller tufts of fur. And when you're done, it should look something like that. So I'm going to go off and finish covering the rest of this guy. Thank you all for watching this tutorial, and I'll catch you on the next one.